Before cannabis legalization in 2018, advocates fought for balance. They argued that cannabis caused less harm to individuals and society than many other drugs, and that criminalization was unfairly harsh on Black, Indigenous, and other marginalized people. In 2017, Canadian researchers calculated the costs and harms of cannabis, as well as other drugs, through the lenses of healthcare, lost productivity, criminal justice, and other costs. The study revealed that alcohol and tobacco were by far the most costly and harmful substances in our society. Alcohol represented over 36% of the total costs and harms, while tobacco was almost 27%. These were followed by opioids at 13% and cocaine at 8%. Cannabis costs and harms were calculated at 7%, or around $3 billion. Half of the costs were related to criminal justice. Since legalization three years ago, we have seen significant changes. For example, the number of youth charged with cannabis possession has dropped by 97%. But the number of cases that result in charges has gone up. In 2015, 32% of cases resulted in criminal charges, compared to 45% in 2019. And these days, fewer cases are resolved informally. In 2015, almost 60% of cannabis possession cases resulted in withdrawn charges or a warning. In 2019, only one-third of cases had informal resolutions. What's more, Black and Indigenous people continue to be disproportionately involved in the criminal justice system. How do youth possession charge rates compare across the country? British Columbia, the Northwest Territories, and Quebec have the highest rates. Newfoundland and Labrador and Prince Edward Island have the lowest rates.